Hey, this is Bryce, and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Jack of Trades. In this video, I want to kick off a new custom build series uh, for the channel. And you might be asking yourself, which car is going to be a custom build? So I've got the original Tamiya uh, 959 Porsche. I have the uh, Volkswagen uh, Beetle Rally car. And I have a Marui Big Bear um, truck. Well, the answer is it's neither of these. What I would like to do a custom build on is this guy here. The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. Um, well, it's not the original. The original came out in 1988, and this is a remake by Playmates. But what I would like to do is take this and use it as a body and build a custom car chassis for this vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll start by unboxing it and get a look at it. Um, the reason I have these other cars around is I want to compare the general dimensions of this um, van with these other three 10th scale vehicles. So I'm guessing it'll be more like a Tamiya 10th scale with the smaller tires, um, smaller wheelbase, smaller track width versus this uh, kind of a monster truck-esque um, platform. So let's go ahead and get this open and have a look at it. I need a knife. So growing up, uh, my brother and I were big in the Ninja Turtles. We had all the toys. Well, we had most of the toys. We, we definitely had the party wagon, the original party wagon. Um, so it's it's very much a toy. Uh, <laughs> this is what we have to work with on the bottom of it. So what else do we got in the box? This is gonna be a little mini unboxing and then we'll get into the details of the build. Okay, so there's the van, um, the party wagon. So what do I want to do with this? Well, I want to convert this to an RC car, treating this as a body. Um, so that means that I have, to, what I'd like to do is make a uh, custom chassis for it. Um, and one of the reasons I want to get this opened up was to kind of see how big it was, you know, it kind of looks like a 10 scale. Yeah, it's just a little smaller than a 10 scale. It's probably like a 12 scale. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So the front wheels are 55 millimeters. Uh, and these front wheels here are um, 57, 58 millimeter front wheels. So I, I think I could use the front wheels on the Beetle. Uh, something similar in size for the front tires for this van. Um, then the rear wheels, the rear tires, I guess, are 73 and a half millimeters. Um, and on this Porsche, they are 65, um, roughly 65 millimeters in diameter. So basically something kind of a little bit bigger than the Porsche tires, um, roughly around the same size as these Volkswagen tires. I'm sure I can find something that, tire wise that fits and that's actually what I'm looking at is tires because um, what I'll end up doing is I will make uh, some custom wheels um, for this vehicle and that so let's get into what what am I gonna make for this car so we're gonna make a chassis I don't want to do 100% scratch built at this point I'd like to scavenge through my box of parts from various um, manufacturers and, and different vert models um, just to see what I have that I could try to use on this build. Um, I think the suspension design will be somewhat custom. I do want to have some suspension. I don't want it to be uh, like a pan car, uh, more like a kind of a rally on road type car. There's not a lot of room under here for um, suspension travel, but we could change that. We could lift it up. I mean, it's basically kind of a hot rod type van, you know. The other thing I need to do is I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to carve this out uh, so that we can retain the body but leave room for a, a chassis essentially. Um, <clears throat> I will have to cut some of this out, um, but I don't want it to be visible from the outside. I'd like to try to keep, the, so this is kind of cool, when you open this up it drops the bomb. Uh, <laughs> When I, um, I'd like to retain some of this in here, right? Like, 
I, I think with this, I'd like to make this um, servo actuated. I think it'd be cool if you had a Ninja Turtle sitting in here and you had a little servo that swung that open. Um, it could even be a servo release where you, you keep it spring loaded and you just have a servo that pops that out. Um, so retaining that functionality I think would be kind of cool. Um, retaining the driver's seat, not, not completely cutting that out. But you have a large kind of volume in here that you could potentially cover with a plate and then have the chassis below that with your powered plant um, and drivetrain and whatnot. Um, and of course you gotta have steering. Uh, so I think it has potential. Uh, it is a short wheelbase. Uh, the wheelbase is sitting around 160 millimeters. These cars are roughly around 220 millimeters, so it's 60 millimeters shorter. Um, it'd be cool to get, you know, put a brushless system in this and get it up to, I don't know, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, I'm just imagining seeing this thing cruising down the street. Um, so yeah, that uh, custom chassis. So I think the next step will be to scavenge parts, see what I can find that I can use for this project, and then see what I'm going to have to design and build. So this, uh, the VW Beetle Rally uh, is on an MF-01X chassis, and that is actually, it's an adjustable length chassis um, where you have these spacers here that you can, it is a four-wheel drive adjustable length chassis, so you take these spacers and you can change them around to change the wheelbase. Um, but I kind of want to do something custom, right? These little spacer blocks, at least the ones that are installed right now, this is 30, and this guy here is 40, so that's 70. So I could almost just take out these two spacer blocks and I'd have the right wheelbase and I could probably get this to work. But that is a little too easy and I don't do things easy <laughs> all the time. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I work smart instead of hard. What I really want to do is um, flex. <laughs> I want to flex my shop and do some, make a custom chassis virtually from scratch. Uh, maybe, maybe leveraging, you know, some of the existing hub assemblies. So I'm not having to mess around with uh, the front and rear hub assemblies. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do my own transmission. I'm okay with transmissions. Uh, they're pretty easy to, I can print those. Um, I can machine a lot of stuff, but it's, it's so much easier and, you know, my, my time is finite, so to print something versus to machine it is is a much more effective use of my time. But, you know, if I can do something trick out of and machine it and it, it's not gonna take me a week to machine, I'll do that. Um, I could see doing kind of a carbon fiber chassis. But I think just as another exploration into creativity, uh, doing a, a shift on the fly two speed, um, servo actuated um, door here, what do they call it again? foot tenderizer, a servo actuated foot tenderizer here. Uh, I'll have to get some sacrificial Ninja Turtle figures. I do have some mint and package ones, but again, they're, they're uh, re-releases, they're not original. I should ask my parents to send me my Ninja Turtles <laughs> from home. <laughs> uh, they're probably not worth anything because they were played with, but it would be fun. Uh, to do. What else? What else? I guess we could go headlights too, right? I mean, the head, this thing kind of is cheesy on headlights. So we can put some turn signals in there, some buckets for some headlights. So I think the first step will probably be to gut this and then establish what our kind of our work envelope is for the new chassis. A lot of this build series will be covering the design aspect of it as well as the manufacturing of custom parts, um, getting that assembly to come together, and then of course the final the driving and, and the operating of, of the vehicle. I'd like to try to use what I have already and <clears throat> and make what I don't have. Um, so it's kind of a low budget build, but um, fully custom. That's all I got for this video. I just kind of want to introduce this new build series. Uh, I do have a lot of other projects in the works. Um, in addition to this, I've got that kangaroo project. Um, actually, I guess that's it. That's not really a lot, is it? <laughs> this and the kangaroo. So. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching to the end. Um, take care. Bye. Cowabunga! That sticker doesn't even look like it's on straight. Should I complain to the company? Stop recording.
stop recording. Come on.